Who here has drowned before? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't hear you, but I have, and I'm here to tell you about it. It's, uh, pretty traumatizing, and I may do it again. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of traumatizing things, but, um, not like this one. And that's why I'm putting in a video, so you can all just laugh at my expense. Because this is... Oh my god, I mean, there are people who've drowned before, and died. But the way I've drowned, in front of people... Yeah, I died of embarrassment. But, but Apple, how were you drowning? H how did this happen? Shut up. It all started like this. It was the first day of summer, when everyone was left from school. We were all cheering with excitement, thinking about all the wonderful things we were going to do. Traveling, meeting our relatives, staying at home, doing a new activity, hiding a dead body, everything. And I knew exactly what I was going to be doing. I called my friends up and told them that we should have a pool party. And they said, cool. So we prepared for the pool party. This guy was in charge of snacks. This guy was in charge of the pool stuff, and this guy was in charge of bringing the decorations, and I was in charge of bringing the people. Already this was going great. We had almost everything prepared, it started at a reasonable time, and no one had plans that day. This was gonna be awesome! Oh, how I was wrong! Three hours before the party started, I thought to bring a celebration cake for the summer. Because I was always the man with the quirky ideas, so I thought it would be nice to bring a celebration cake. Why am I talking about a celebration cake? Because that's very important to the story later on. When the party was starting, I was the one welcoming everyone because I was a good person, most of the time. I thought there were gonna be like seven, maybe eight people coming to the party, but no. There was only one. 136 people that came to the party. And oh my god, we should have brought more snacks. Everyone had a good time in that pool party. We opened the snacks, and the sodas, and the music. This was one of the most popular parties we had in our school. We had a great time playing in the pool, eating snacks, talking to people, hiding dead bodies, and dancing. And if it wasn't for me, this would have been the most popular party in my school. And if it wasn't for me, I wouldn't have embarrassed myself in front of 116 people. Three hours later, the party was about to end, and it was time to bring out the celebration cake. I called my mom telling her to get the celebration cake for the party, and no one suspected a thing. I thought this was going to be the best surprise I ever created. But before I knew it, people were getting super bored and wanted to leave. Then I told the people that were leaving that we were going to have a big surprise soon. We don't care, we just want to go home. And then they left. A total of 20 people got bored and left the party without even seeing the surprise. And right now, I'm glad they didn't stick around to see me almost dying. Then soon the celebration cake came and I picked it up. And then I made my way to the snack table. Then without looking at where I was going, there was some pool water on the ground. And with pure excitement and the high hopes for the best party ever, the inevitable happened. I slipped on the pool, next to the pool, falling into the pool with the cake on top of me. I didn't realize I was drowning until I couldn't get back above the pool. I screamed so loud that the whole entire community could hear me screaming. They thought something was going very, very wrong. Then everyone gathered to the pool to see me drown. People were scared seeing that they might see someone die for the first time, but this girl was like, not today. Not today. So she dove in the bottom of the pool, and against all odds, she actually saved me. She brought me to the edge of the pool, and she patted my back so I wouldn't choke on water. I couldn't see very well at that moment, and my ears were full of water, but I could vividly hear every single person in the party laughing at me, and calling me some very rude names like, come on dude, it's not that deep, I just drowned. And the girl who saved me put me on a bench, and when I was able to see, every single person left and took some of the pool supplies too. When I went back to school the next year, they kept reminding me of the time I drowned and make fun of me for drowning. I need better friends. And that's why I never go to the parties in the summer. I just stay at home for three months thinking about why I exist. I was super embarrassed. And I didn't want anyone to know about that, but I p put it on the internet four years later. But that's not important. What is important is that I will be forever traumatized and emotionally damaged. But there's also another party you can join. You can join my Discord server, where you can connect, talk, and get sweet prizes from the giveaways. If you want to join, then click in the link in the description or scan this QR code. Because you can get shoutouts, like this one. Shout out to Sammy as a Chad, link in the description. I also wanted to give a big thanks to Nicely Animation YT for animating some parts of my video. You deserve a medal. Here you go. Hey, hey, what do you have in your hand?